So it could have been more because it, it, things just start. It was an idea and then it grows, it becomes something. And now it's actually becoming something. And the launch is happening, I believe, tomorrow. Uh, which is super exciting. In studio, I have uh, with me uh, Maureen and as well as uh, Diane, who's here. Uh, they are coming from uh, the Interior Designers Association of Uganda. This association in particular is being launched tomorrow, I believe, right? Yes. Right. Welcome, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank yes, you. it's so amazing to have you on. And uh, let's talk interior design. Let's talk all <laughs> things beautiful. Uh, you know, everybody has a house. Everybody has some, you know, we like things that look nice. I like nice things. Mark almost likes nice things uh, when he feels <laughs> like it. But I think his wife likes nice things. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I would love to see Mark's this. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, I, I, I don't think you would love to see my test. <laughs> really? Just know every time I go back home, our house has changed. Uh -huh. and uh -huh. you find the chair facing this side and the chair facing this side exactly. and you wonder oh well, i was actually wrong but my wife didn't have, didn't have to say it in the physical yeah. no. uh, i i i think this this interior designing thing was 90 percent made for ladies no no yeah no. Do, you know why? do you know why you ladies have have a an have eye. an eye a certain yeah, eye i mean even back then in the garden of eden oh <laughs> <laughs> bye yeah, and yeah, actually nice just uh, actually <laughs> since you're saying it's for women let the woman talk <laughs> color <we'll leave> it. <laughs> but interior design is quite a thing uh i just learned yesterday actually uh that that there is a difference between interior design and a decorator right I didn't know. Yes, Mark, yes, you didn't yes, know either. Yes. There's a difference between interior design and a decorator because you need both, apparently. Right. Um, but before we get into all of that, we'll get into the details. Let's talk about the Interior Designers Association of Uganda. Uh, tell us about it. Where has it started? And why are we just launching now? Maybe I shall start with the vice president, right. Maureen. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thank you, Victoria. Thank you for having us. Yes, we have been cooking this for quite a while. And our aim is to create a flagship of this association mm -hmm. for the whole interior in, uh, design industry mm -hmm. right now because we didn't have where to go as in interior designers. You look at Uganda Law Society, it is for the lawyers. Right. At least yeah. there's some credibility there in mm -hmm. case a lawyer messes you up, you, you have can the association. go. You have the association. Yeah. You have the pharmacists. Mm -hmm. They have the Uganda Pharmaceutical Society. Yeah. So where does an interior designer go oh. when they mess up your contract? <laughs> oh, yes. Wow. So we needed a body. We felt like we needed a body that could just bring us as a community, hold us accountable, mm. prefer, just professionalize us as interior designers mm. and yes. and the body it consists of not just interior designers i'm assuming you've got architects you've got i'm assuming uh, decorators yes uh, and possibly much more members that will come forward oh yes. yeah um so just like this space mm. so you had an architect design and then an interior designer makes sure the space fits this table setup for example mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A decorator will say, okay, you know, maybe add a bit of the color, mm. which interior, most interior designers do decorate as well, but they are more into the structural, you mm. know, how do you make sure, you know, the sound doesn't, it does the lighting work for your cameras mm. and the positioning of the of lights as well. Positioning. Uh -huh. So we want to bring all these people into one space, the interior decorator, the interior designer, the architect, mm. the you know, painters and, and tilers. Because yes. interior designers sort of get into a space last, which shouldn't mm. be, but they are the ones that end up correcting mistakes for everybody. Mm. Yeah. So if we have a body where we can come together and then we can talk to all these other associations as well, you know, and let them know where the best time is. Because yeah. architects are very structural. But there are certain, because interior designers speak to the use of space. So yes. they can come in and they should come in early, you know, mm. at concept and yes. say, no, this room should, you know, should, have done this should, and that. should be like this before we are actually constructing. Because what we happen is when you get an interior design on, state, on set, most times they'll say, break that. Yeah. Yes. Put that down. Start, start, chiseling, from scratch. start chiseling the walls, right. you know. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we want to bring everybody together 
so that we can sort of um, educate mm. and, and um, begin to lay out, you know, some processes, what are the stages to avoid mm. that. Now, as interior designers yourself, I'm assuming, mm. yes. yes, isn't it such a struggle when you walk into a room and you just see things yes. like, why oh, is this there? Why is that there? Is such <laughs> Who would think of this? Oh my goodness. <laughs> and in Uganda, it's even worse. Because oh my everyone goodness. right now, if someone is selling curtains, they They're, are yeah, interior, interior designers. designers. Yeah. They are selling, let's say, granite suppliers, whatever <laughs> it is. Anything. <laughs> but all these are industry suppliers. Yes. And yes. we can work together. And there's a difference between having passion and then the skill set. Yes. Go, making sure that you professionalize this, go and add education to it mm -hmm. so that you understand how do these things harmonize. Mm. Many of us, you like, just like now, Mark may have a good eye, but mm. he could. You told, you told the wrong person. <laughs> <laughs> he could have a good eye. He can pick nice things, mm -hmm. but do they harmonize? Right. How do they work right. together? Mm. Yeah. Yes, mm. how do they work together? So you find someone with all things nice, but they are struggling, they are fighting yes, for know. space. And yet you could have little, but working together. So this is what we want to save yeah. right yeah. now. Yeah. yeah. What, are, what are those challenges that you're seeing interior designers are facing currently in Uganda, or even people that are in this design space, uh, uh, particularly uh, you know, uh, within the industry? What are those challenges that uh, people are facing? I think the biggest one is the value. Yes. The value of an interior designer. Yeah. Like we have said, because everybody is calling themselves an interior designer. Yes. I sell curtains downtown. I'm an, an interior, interior designer. designer. I sell pots on the road. I'm an interior designer. Yeah. So people, like now when you come as an interior designer, like there's so much that goes into it. Um, the floor plans, the... The whole layout. process, the layout, mm. lighting um, plans, mm. mood boards and all that. There's so much um, that goes on behind the scenes, but people do not see the value of that. So mm. they are thinking you're just going to come and put a pot here. Mm. Or a frame there. Yeah, so why then should I, you know, give you my money? Yeah. And yet the truth is that <laughs> without an interior designer, your space may not work. Yeah, but, but then should. again, the assumption is that when you go for an interior designer that know what they're talking about, not the one that's an in, uh, de decorator, but yeah. uh, <laughs> they think it's for the elite and uh, probably think it's expensive and we're not yeah. going to go for that. And what's the what's the plan to create that balance? That because I think people want beautiful spaces. Right. Yeah. Is there a balance that can be found in there? Because uh, you know, it, affordability is not the simplest thing, and I can understand. I, that's the thing. Um, like I told you, we end up getting into spaces and breaking walls. It, it becomes more expensive for you mm. to do it. It just looks cheaper that, oh, I'll do it myself, put a pink wall here. Mm. Then I found a green chair that I like. Then I found a red carpet. Yeah. Then after that, it's still not working. So you have to rebuy the things. Mm. And yet, if you got a designer on, on board, mm then they could advise and you would save actually a lot of money yes. or sometimes we just want nice things mm -hmm. and but you don't need it yeah you know an interior designer would tell you yes that's pretty but but it does not work for you <laughs> yeah thing. and that will actually true. save you money and and sometimes all you need is a, okay if you don't have the money just a consultation even yeah you could okay. pay for that and they give you you know a mood board you're like yes. okay you can go and you know create on your own but they've sort of given you yeah some sort of direction yeah yeah so it's yeah. for everybody i i just have one or let me know, just say something uh, we have a lot of in, uh influence from pin interest right now yes. especially with the young people when they come to us they have all these dreams ideas, yeah. and ideas they are crazy they see spaces and they're excited and then they come to you. Basically, they are telling you, I want Serena in this space of oh. mine. <laughs> so, I, I, I get it. I, I, you know, I get it. And it's possible to create Serena for you. Oh, but the budget is for The budget, budget <laughs> is not, tra <laughs> it's not <laughs> translating. <laughs> so, what are we saying? That we, when you come to an interior designer, we save you money. Mm. We save you time. Because I have experience. You're going to start scouting for carpenters that you have no experience with. Yes. Right. Because... 
we are tried and tested mm. so we don't have that much room for the back and forth mm. so you as victoria you're going to try this out you try out that gypsum that's when you see the ceilings falling and you know maybe you you're trying yeah. someone you know just because you've seen them online mm. but we have vendors that we have tried yeah so we know the suppliers we have tried we have even tested the paint colors, this color palettes before. Yeah. So for you, you're going to start, oh, it's this hue oh, of green. Scratch. No, it is My goodness. darker. Let it's me tell what? you, we have seen the craziest <laughs> things here. Is there a plan to collaborate perhaps even with people that are currently, you know, a lot of people are building apartment buildings. Yes. A lot of people are getting oh. into that business. And my goodness, I cannot stress enough. I, there's <laughs> one thing I don't understand personally as Victoria. Why in the world is a toilet basin sink in the in lounge the <laughs> <laughs> can someone just explain that to me why why <laughs> who 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 who, who oh told goodness. you that this is a thing like oh. <laughs> am i the only one that's a, that's a cultural <laughs> best thing yeah. it's a culture yeah. because i'm stressed the, even. it's it's coming from culture we have those cultural influences yes definitely yes. But there's a way to do them. Yeah, exactly. I understand that there's a way of like, I know you, when you enter, you want people to wash their hands. It's yeah. a cultural thing. You know, you want people to take off their shoes. It's a cultural <laughs> thing. But my goodness. You don't, because that's the thing. If you hadn't, because there's a project that I'm working on. Yeah. And the client, as in us, that that should be there. Yeah. Yeah. I had to get a tile that looked like wallpaper so that it doesn't give you a bathroom feel. Yeah. Yes. yes. Cuz I've get seen a it. wash benson uh -huh. that does not look like the one that is in the toilet. Yeah. You know, to sort of yeah. disguise the area, yeah. you know. Yes. It's also not an area you want to highlight. <laughs> no, because be they there, make right? it they end up being the focal point and I'm like, "Why is this the focal point?" <laughs> a final one. I just have a final one and I'm hoping <laughs> that you guys are the ones that are going to talk on our behalf. Mm. Please I beg, showers must actually have doors. I don't know if people right. know this. Oh, yeah. Yes. Please tell them. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, like, you, you, oh, my goodness. Let me calm down. Let me breathe. <laughs> well, we hope that in the society we'll get together with <laughs> architects. I think yes. for me, my, my thing actually is when you travel. Yes. Beautiful, as in there are cities that it's about the buildings. The, you know, like just that yeah. is tourism in yeah. itself. It is. Hmm. In our country we're working <laughs> it's it's just Only about yeah on you know as instruct it's copy paste yeah. i mean yes. like now the malls that are coming up are all the same my goodness <laughs> the mediterranean yes. look i whatever. know but no one is thinking like beyond us many years to come is this something that will tell of yeah. our culture so i think that bringing people together in the design and build yeah will actually help the country move from the phase yeah. that we are at yeah. i'm glad you mentioned that's that. the thing we are pushing for we are pushing for design uganda build, build uganda, uganda. Yeah. Yeah. yeah i love that's that what we want to see yeah yes there's been interest but we can get these things here mm. right. we can be able to work with the creatives and designers here to mm. achieve some of these things you know because what you're seeing some of it is mostly uh, people export or get these things in when mm -hmm. they travel here and there. Mm -hmm. The accessories are in uh, de the decor stores. Yes. But they are things that can be made and mm -hmm. still make your space functional and beautiful. Mm -hmm. right. What I found very fascinating, uh, which we'll talk about right after the break, is the accessibility and affordability of some of these things that we see outside and you think yeah. you can't get them here. Yeah. Uh, so we'll talk about that and of course we'll talk about the launch of the association and who can be a member and who cannot be a member. Mm -hmm. right. Why this particular song for you? Oh yeah, we are finally launching the Interior Design Association. And we feel like it's right, this is the right time. Yeah. This is the right time. And right. God has really made it possible. Yeah. Right. Because we've been organizing this for three years. Wow. We've just been saying that this is like those trips that people plan. Yeah. And they're finally out of finally it. Finally leaving the WhatsApp group. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they actually have arrived. They've arrived. Yeah. 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 What, what did it take to get to the space, actually? How, how, why did it take three years? Uh, I heard the same story in terms of like it took this long to actually get to the space where we are finally <laughs> launching. What uh, was going on? I think it's... Uh, well, I got COVID, many things, mm. but <laughs> it helped the world to slow down. We quietened yeah. a bit yeah. and thought of what is it actually that we need. 
because at the time you had to figure i remember i had to get <laughs> a friend who was expecting mm. to move to go to our project that i was working on wow because the family had left the house and they were staying elsewhere we were supposed to complete and they come back then there's lockdown yeah wow so you have people that are outside of their space mm. so um you know if we had uh, you know as in at that point you like if i knew someone that's on that side so, yes mm, that i could collaborate mm. with yeah. mm. then that would have made it so much easier yes. yeah. but also just in when the world opened up globally <laughs> yeah on the phone but getting someone else to work with you're like okay i have this project but it's not you know this client this is not my style because mm. is that and I, I would want someone to, you know, pass it on to. And, you know, then we started to sort of look for each other. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. We saw the need to collaborate and network because, you know, it can really be lonely when you are alone. Yeah. Like, imagine you have a project, it has a deadline, and you fall sick. Mm. You need someone with a similar eye, something close, who yeah. can be able to fit yeah. in those shoes. Right, right. Where do you find that mm. person? And, and what does standardization actually look like? Because now you're saying standardizing the, yes, the, the, uh, yes, the standard itself yes. on how you produce the work and dealing with clients, dealing with uh, vendors, dealing with a bunch of people. What does standardization look like for the association in interior design so the industry uh, design and build is growing but and so many people are getting on board but they're interior designers you know that maybe through practice but do not even know how to charge maybe for a project yeah or just um the time the process you mm. know <laughs> we were talking earlier that many clients want to tell you about the budget, for example, at the end, after you have dreamt of Serena. Yeah. And all that the budget wow. can offer is, you know, mm. something that <laughs> is Max <laughs> Mark. Yeah, so yeah. to know that, you know, educate yeah. people and know that you could communicate, this is my budget. Mm. So what can we do with, with this, this to within achieve the budget? Yeah. What we want to achieve. Yeah. Yeah. So things like that. But also professionalizing. Like we have said, there's a lot of passion. Mm. We don't certify. There's no certification. We want to call on the interior designers that it is possible. It's good to have the good eye. But yeah. you need the education to back this up. Right. And it is actually going to scale you up as a designer. Mm. It's, you know, and in this space, you're going to find a lot of community of people who have been there. I, imagine yeah. we had you had um, Lillian, our president, yesterday. Yes, she designed this place. Yeah, yeah. you get. Yeah, many of us have not had this kind of scale of uh, projects. Yes. So if I have Lillian, she is going to take me. Uh, she's going to redeem time for me, yes. and even in terms of my career, she's going to help bridge because Lillian has a design school Absolutely, as well. Yeah. So we have all this education that's going to be coming through. We have industry suppliers going to yes. train us mm. on their product. The Many people see Plascon and we thank God for the Plascon and all right. these suppliers who have come yes. through. We have the, uh, the ABC, the tiles. Mm. We have Nina for furnishing. These people have been doing this right. for so long. Yeah. Mm. They want to train interior designers. Mm. Plascon has had one training Yes. Uh, for for interior designers understanding color and and we we even advise them on some of the colors with the challenges that yes. like we're facing in the industry yeah. yeah wow so we advise them as well and they're able to produce a better product and mm. even supply mm. and meet our clients needs yeah so yeah. those are the things we're dealing with mm. we are talking about lighting we are talking about we're talking to the chint people yeah. we, we we kind of all this we work with the industry suppliers mm. together mm. with us and put certain standards mm -hmm. and value to this profession. No, absolutely. I, yeah. I love that. It sounds like it's something that was very is is very necessary, not yeah. just for the industry, but also just to better and grow the country. At the end, it, it right. really becomes a ripple effect. Yes. Tourism becomes an attraction. People know they're going to stay in these amazing places, you know. Right. So now tell me, who can actually be a part of the association uh, outside of the industries? Are there people who are saying, man, I'm in university. I really wish I could yeah. be an interior designer, but I don't know where to start. Yes. yes. Now, we have uh, students, um, you know, we have uh, different uh, categories. categories. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we have practitioners, which are people, you know, architects, uh, interior designers, interior decorators, people that are doing Experience. stuff yes. inside the build. Mm -hmm. But then we also have the industries, you know, the guys the that are producing yeah. 
because sometimes you're producing your product by the moment the reason it's not moving is that it's not working mm. and mm. you know this space can inform that you know where are we going you know yeah. elsewhere in the world they release a color for the year you know yeah <laughs> the trends you know trends for the year at some so, point there was feng shui trending everywhere <laughs> <laughs> we were trying to find out what is <laughs> feng shui <laughs> you know yeah yes. So those trends are a thing. <laughs> the trends are a thing. So yeah. to get to a point where then now we begin to influence the whole design, mm. uh, Uganda, build Uganda, mm. begin to influence that. But yes, students as well, mm -hmm. internship opportunities, um, you know, exposure, because there's, there's some information that you may not know. You know, as in globally, mm. we're talking about... Um, expos yeah. and fairs like mm -hmm. decorex mm -hmm. like decorex right mm -hmm. where um you can go and learn see what else is you know happening yeah. in in the rest of the world yeah and just to encourage people to just you know move outside of Their just own, your yeah. little space there's yeah. so much more absolutely right? So we have people, like the other industry players, like the carpenters, people have workshops and mm. all these people. Uh, some are standardized, some are not. Yeah. But there's so much in the design and build. You have a granite supplier, mm -hmm. for example. Mm -hmm. We have people in the lighting. These are all parts of, they can join the association. Yeah. Right. Yes, yeah. we have uh, furniture, furnishings, examples that we've given. We have B+, Plus, we have Nina. You are there and you're hearing about this. Mm -hmm. Probably, and you know, an interior designer influences what goes into yeah. a space. These are people who can push your product. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, so And we'll have something us. for the <laughs> investors. And, uh -huh. you know, well, because your apartment block is going to be put up by some investor yeah for them to learn on you know <laughs> a bit of the design like because it does is affect the investment it really you know? does yeah, yeah. We yeah. also have people like partners like uh, the banks. Oh, uh, yes. Yes. And, uh, and uh, yes. we were talking about the tax man, you are a right. mm. that, That's why uh, we want to bridge this gap. I am passionate about interior design, but the business side of the industry is struggling. It are is. you compliant? Yes. As, uh, an, interior as an interior designer. Okay. The tax man can come for you. Yeah. Mm. Do you know the gaps you need to bridge? Mm. We are bringing them on board to educate, educate. us on what we need to do right wow. to avoid some of this. I love it. Issues. I love it. So how can people get a hold of you on the social media platforms? Are you on social media? Can the people look at your work and see what you're doing, what you're up to? Uh, yes. yes, please. So we're on uh, Instagram and Twitter for now mm -hmm. and growing, you know, beyond the launch, we'll have more, but it's the IDAO on Instagram and on Twitter. Perfect. Yes. Ladies, thank you so much for joining us today on uh, The Morning Switch. It's been an absolute joy and a pleasure. Thank you. Uh, thank now, you, thank I you. now I'm just looking at my house in future. <laughs> uh, you mentioned B+. It's like when I grow up. Oh. <laughs> that's going to be me. Right. When we just can when I grow design you. <laughs> I'm with you. So I'm yes, with you. That's what I'm saying when I yes. grow up. But thank you so much. <laughs> No. no, when I have grown up money, when my money's not jiggling, Even you know what I mean? Your money can work <laughs> now. We can uh, work with Victoria's budget. No, but you see, my style and my budget don't match, and I don't want to lose my style. Oh. <laughs> you, you understand? So we can face so it. So what you need, exactly, what she needs is a, a mood board. Yeah. Uh, you know, some direction yeah. as yeah. you grow to it. Yeah. Well, yeah. thank you so much for joining oh, yeah. us, ladies. Uh, we'll be 